In this episode of Dan Factoids, we're going to be talking about children diving on nitrox. Most of today's divers may not remember the time when nitrox was considered a very controversial subject. In fact, there was a time where people felt it was positively dangerous, if not absurd, to dive on nitrox. Nowadays, nitrox is so readily available in many dive res resorts that people don't even give it a second thought. It's now gone as far as asking questions about whether this would affect the age limit and specifically we got an email with the following question why can children only dive on nitrox from age 12 according to a particular training organizations regulations uh, instead of from age 10 and also why are depths restricted to from uh, 3 to 8 meters for children in particular now I didn't want to get into the complexities and the various political aspects that influence training agencies decisions but I do want to share some of the diving medical principles which involve children and diving in general. The most important aspect when it comes to making a decision to enter diving as a sport and participating in diving as a sport is to be able to take responsibility and to understand the risks that you're undertaking. So many of the decisions that have led to the policies as to what age and what depth divers can dive to have very little to do with the physiological aspects as such and more to do with whether or not it is reasonable for an individual to accept or understand the risks they undertake by doing a particular activity. So for instance in diving we are less concerned when it comes to children about the decompression issues related to bone growth plates etc etc um, there's a greater concern for instance that there may still be PFOs or um, uh, a greater prevalence of uh, um, open um, a greater prevalence of holes in the heart for instance in growing children so theoretically diving on a mixture that produces less bubbles would actually be safer but the real issue and this is not so much a pressure dependent is whether or not the person can un understand or fully appreciate the risk and therefore many of the decisions have less to do with whether or not for instance they would develop decompression illness but also the possibilities of lung overpressure injury and the general risk of drowning because you're underwater. So there are lots of different aspects that are woven into the mixture. And I'd like to refer you to articles on children and diving elsewhere, and the references will be listed at the end of this uh, factoid clip, and we'd invite you to actually have a look at them, because the decision is not quite as simple as it seems. Thank you for watching this Dan Factoid. We hope it's been helpful and given you some fresh perspectives on some of the issues about children and diving in general as well as diving on nitrox.